Hi guys, welcome back. I hope you've had a good week. Last week uh, was my five month post jaw surgery update. So I talked about everything that has been going on with my jaw healing, uh, swelling, numbness, uh, what I can eat, orthodontics, all of that good stuff. So if you missed that last update, you can check that out for everything jaw related. Today, I wanted to just give a quick update on my overall health, my sort of overall healing journey, trying to deal with some chronic fatigue and hormonal disruptions. Um, these things that I have been, that have been ongoing for me for a really long time. Um, I have been trying a lot of different treatments and therapies for many years, but also more recently trying some new things. And so just wanted to give a little update on everything that is going on there and where I stand on this overall health journey. So I definitely still do have fatigue most days. I wake up, I don't feel super rested. It's a little bit hard to get out of bed in the morning. It's hard to get going. I just feel a little bit sort of foggy, sort of worn out. Some days are better than others, but it's definitely just kind of an ongoing theme. The hormonal issues are still there as well. I have been trying some alternative therapies like hyperbaric oxygen, uh, red light therapy and some IV nutrient therapy. Um, I'm continuing to do some of those here and there. Um, I really hit it hard for a couple of weeks to try to kind of give my body a big boost and see if I could promote some additional healing and recovery. And now I'm kind of just trying to maintain some of those when I can to, again, just kind of keep giving my body some additional support and see if over time it will kind of accumulate and help me feel a little better. But as of right now, still just kind of dealing with the day-to-day -day fatigue with the hormonal issues and some brain fog and that kind of thing and exploring other things that could be also linked to this, which I will talk about a little bit at the end. Um, but one of the other things I talked about in my last video was that I have been tracking my sleep using an aura ring. So I've been wearing this aura ring for about a month now and tracking my sleep every night. And the good news is that I am getting really good quality sleep. I'm getting eight hours of sleep a night, most nights, sometimes even a little bit more. I'm getting good deep sleep and good REM sleep. So I was really glad to know that my sleep quality is not an issue. It's not contributing to my fatigue. Ruling out sleep as being like maybe a major factor in the fatigue, it's nice to know that. It's nice to have some data on that and be able to kind of check that off as not having an issue there but it still does leave a little bit of a mystery as to what else might be contributing to these hormonal issues and to this overall fatigue and kind of brain fog. Also I wanted to give a quick update on my wrist, which as you may know, I broke my wrist a couple of months ago. It's been almost two months now since I had surgery on my wrist. The scar is still there obviously, but it's getting a lot better. I don't have to wear anything over it anymore. I can really do almost anything with this arm now, um, my range of motion is, is pretty similar to my other side. I can almost do like a full plank and put all my weight on it. It's not super comfortable, but um, I'm getting there with that. I can lift weights pretty normally now and really happy to be able to kind of get back to my normal workout routine and start to build some strength there again because I was really feeling like I was making progress after my jaw surgery. And then when I broke my wrist, I obviously had a big setback there. So getting back in the gym, getting back to pretty normal usage of my left hand and my left side. It has been really nice to not have to worry about that anymore and to really be focusing again on sort of my overall health, this bigger picture health journey. On that note, one of the other things that I have been looking into is actually something that I came across when I was researching my jaw surgery and getting ready for that. And this is the concept of jaw cavitations. Obviously I'm not an expert on this, but from what I have learned and what I have heard about these, um, jaw cavitations are basically like places in your mouth where you have sort of some chronic inflammation. Um, usually it's like where teeth have been removed, so whether it's wisdom teeth that have been removed or potentially uh, root canal treated teeth, that those areas can really cause a whole host of like systemic issues and health issues throughout your whole body. One of the things that is mentioned a lot in the reading that I've done about cavitations is things like chronic fatigue or maybe gut issues or other sort of autoimmune types of conditions where maybe you haven't been able to find a 
a real cause. You don't really know where it's coming from. They can be cleaned out and then at least for some people it can get really great results with feeling a lot better kind of resolving long-term health issues. When I first read about this, this really like piqued my interest. I did have wisdom teeth removed when I was probably like 17 or 18 years old and was just curious if potentially I could have some issues in there that could also be affecting this chronic fatigue that I've been dealing with or just some of these other longer term health issues. And these jaw cavitations, it's not something that like traditional dentists generally diagnose or treat. Um, there are what are called biological dentists, which in my mind, it's kind of similar to like naturopathic medicine, um, where it's just a little bit of a different approach. It's kind of a more of a holistic approach and really looking at your overall health and sort of the whole human and how um, everything that's going on in your mouth is affecting also the rest of your body. So not necessarily just treating like symptoms or conditions, but trying to think of the bigger picture and make sure that whatever you're doing in your mouth or with dentistry is also considering the rest of your body and the rest of your systems and how they all are interconnected. So I have been looking into some of these biological dentists and um, looking into kind of how to find out if I ha might have jaw cavitations and kind of what I could do about it. I was talking with my uh, doctor recently and she was familiar, familiar with these jaw cavitations and thought it was a good idea for me to just start to explore that and like see what I could find out, um, see if I could get a diagnosis um, and go from there. So I'm looking into that. I was hoping to have a little more information or to have heard back from some of these people, but I don't totally have that yet, but definitely keep you guys posted. I'm really curious to hear uh, more about that, if that might be an issue for me and if maybe that could also be a contributing factor to my health issues. So that's where I'm at right now on this overall healing journey, looking into um, these jaw cavitations, seeing if that might be another trigger or another issue for me that I could potentially um, get treated and see if that might help the overall health and kind of dealing with some of the chronic fatigue and hormonal disruptions. I will be seeing um, a physical therapist in a couple of weeks to kind of reevaluate where I'm at with my jaw and kind of range of motion, um, maybe getting some exercises to do and just making sure that everything is kind of still recovering correctly or that um, I'm doing what I can to make sure that I don't have any issues in the future. So um, I will let you know um, how that goes and what I'm doing with the jaw as well. But um, if you have any questions, definitely leave questions down below. I'm happy to answer them here. And uh, thank you again for following along on this journey. and sticking with me. I will see you guys soon in my next update. So I definitely still do 